I devoured a book over the weekend and I wanted to tell you all about it. But before I tell you that, as an entrepreneur, as someone who maybe does Facebook Lives, can we just take a minute right now and appreciate that I created this beautiful background? Finally, I have a video background that I'm proud of and I'm excited about. So there it is. So anyhow, this weekend, we, um, I played hooky on Friday and we went hiking and we went and rode this Alpine coaster, which if you haven't heard what an Alpine coaster is, it is a roller coaster. It's like a two seater. You can ride one or two seats and it takes you to the top of a mountain and uses gravity to bring you back down to the bottom of the mountain. And it goes so fast and it was so fun and it has brakes. So like it's got these little brakes on the side, you can slow down. But I was just, we played hooky, it was so much fun. The hiking was amazing. We went to Otter Falls in Western North Carolina and it just filled my bucket. And so then this weekend, we spent some time with friends. We spent a lot of downtime. I sat on the deck and read a lot. So without further ado, the book I devoured this weekend was Shark Tales by Barbara Kokorin. She is on um, ABC's Shark Tank. And if you didn't know, I'm, I'm a Shark Tank reject. So I tried out in Charlotte several years ago. It was an open, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it was an open casting call. And um, I stood in line for hours, like hours and hours and hours on the pavement, city street, like not the street, but like the sidewalk in summer Charlotte heat. It was crazy. And then I got 90 seconds in front of a um, junior producer. And she was easily... 10 years younger than me and it was so anticlimactic but I was so scared that I thought I was gonna pee my pants um, I didn't I didn't um, but I did make it to the next round of Shark Tank and then um, if you're just joining I'm telling my Shark Tank reject story because I read Shark Tales over the weekend um, I made it to the second round which is a video round you had to create a 10 minute or less video telling your story what you were gonna do with the money if you got it blah 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 and then you submit that and so I made it to the second round. I didn't make it past that round. It's so unfortunate because they only reach out to you if you make it to the next round. And so it's like they ghost you. It's like your worst nightmare. It's like, what did I do? Tell me, give me some feedback at least, but no. So I did not make it to the round where you actually go out to LA and you shoot the program. So, oh well, it was a blessing in disguise. I'm so glad I didn't end up um, making it that far because in hindsight, I love having full control of my business rather than having an investor or someone else that gets to call the shots because if I wanna sleep in, then I sleep in. If I want to block a day and not have any um, calls that day, I can do that. And I don't have that pressure of an investor or someone else um, you know, watching and um, you know, telling me what to do. I get to decide everything in my business, along with my team, of course. So anyhow, Shark Tales. So this book is how I turned $1,000 into a billion dollar business. So if you didn't, if you didn't know, Barbara Kokorin was known as like the queen of real estate. Her and the Kokorin group sold um, real estate in New York City. This was a couple decades ago, but she tells her story in the most fun way. They're super short chapters. I mean, look at, there are, so many lessons, like how many chapters, it's crazy. But the reason she did this is she would tell a story about a, a business challenge and then she would follow it up with a lesson. And so many of the lessons were things that she learned from her mom, who her mom was, um, I think she was a mom of eight or 10, I can't remember, I have to look back to get the accurate number. But she had to basically systematize her household and run it like a business in order to get all the kids bathed, fed, off to school, all the things. And so Barbara learned so much from her mom and she would then um, juxtapose a business story with a personal story of her and her brothers and sisters growing up and how her mom handled things. It was so good. She, she's got a great sense of humor. Um, she is, has got great persistence because she almost went bankrupt but she got really, really creative in how to turn it around, how to market her business, how to stand out from the rest. Can you imagine how many people were trying to sell real estate um, in New York City at the time when she was starting her business? 
it's probably so many. She was talking about the uh, newspaper having all these listings and how would you stand out? So she got really creative. So I really highly recommend this. Um, this is Shark Tales, how I turned $1,000 into a billion dollar business. Honestly, this is not one of those business books where you're going to sit down and like write notes about tactical things. This is so much more about mindset and thinking outside of the box. Really highly recommend for a beach read. So if you're going to the beach or if you're laying by the pool, this is kind of um, a lighter read and I really think you're going to enjoy it. So um, let me know if you've read it in the comments. Tell me if you're going to read it. I'll put a link in the comments too to get the book. Um, I think you're going to really like it. Okay, hope you enjoy it and you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye guys.